Hi friends, Jackie Ball Heist from Comp and Stampers. Today we're going to make something that really is kind of out of my normal, I should say. I was going to say comfort zone, but the thing is, it was easy, and everything I do is easy. Now, you don't see me do 3D type stuff very often. I'm all about the quick and easy cards. But today, I want to show you how to make this gorgeous flower. The dies for this come in the Good Morning uh, Magnolia, the bundle, so you get the dies to also make these beautiful 3D flowers. Now, because I don't do 3D very often, I was a little intimidated because I don't do this stuff. It's it's too hard in my book. Uh-uh. It was so easy and they were so fun to make. So I want to share that with you today. Now, now don't forget this bundle, the Good Morning Magnolia, is what's featured in my August online class. So don't buy it now. If you're dying to get this, hold on until August 1st because then you can get my free online class. It's gonna have tutorials for 12 different projects. I'm gonna show you a few of those a little bit here and some fun packaging for them. And then you'll also know how to do these flowers. This isn't one of the tutorials, but since I'm gonna show you now, you'll already know. Now, let's go ahead, flip this camera down, but first, just a quick reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe, show me some love, share my YouTube channel with your friends. That's what helps me bring you fun videos three times a week. And as always, if you have questions, make sure to let me know. You know how to contact me. And I'll have a link down in the description of this video that will send you over to the blog post that will list all of the supplies and everything I use to make the projects along with some pictures of them so you can see them in still pictures. So without further ado, let's get making these adorable flowers. Let's take an up close look at them. And like I said, I normally don't do things like this because I don't know, it scares me. I don't know, it shouldn't. But this was super easy. And these dies come with that Good Morning Magnolia bundle. So if you pick it up, you're gonna have the pieces to make this. Now I've done some of the work ahead of time. I've taken the dies. So the flower has three different dies, the large, the medium, and the small. And I cut out of Whisper White two of each one. So there's our two large, our two medium, our two small. There is also four leaves, two large, two small. I cut out one of each. You could do all of these one time through your die cutting machine. And then there's the centers and there's, oops, there's a large one and a small one. And I cut one each of those. So we've got Mossy Meadow and Daffodil Delight. So now all the cutting is done. So let's just push these aside. And then the first thing, because I wanted to just add a little bit of yellow to these flowers, but it's not really going to show except on these the top ones. So I'm taking the smallest ones. I have my daffodil pad and a sponge dauber, and I'm going to just kind of dab in the middle and then rub in a circle. Oh, these are going to be a little bit darker than the one I made. Dab in the middle and then rub in a circle, and that's it. So that's all we're gonna do with the ink there. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take all six of these and I'm using my bone folder and I'm just curling them up. Now, make sure you're holding in the center when you do this. Um, you can pull pretty hard, especially on this big one. As you get down to the smaller ones, you know, make sure I'm even holding out to that petal a little bit because I don't wanna rip that petal off. So we'll do all of these. So here's the second medium. So these are just perfect flowers. You probably wouldn't want to add them onto a card because they're so bulky, um, but they're perfect for any type of gift packaging um, that you want to do or any decorative type things. So there we go. There's all six of them. And then all we have to do is put them together. Now, you know me, I like to use the liquid adhesive. If there's something that you prefer, um, I'm sure that'll work as well. But I'm going to start by putting adhesive on that bottom one. It's a big one, and then we'll take the next big one and we'll stick it down. And it just takes a second for that glue to set, but just kind of twist it so it's at a different angle. And part of the reason I like this adhesive is because when I'm laying these down, I can twist them a little bit. So if I want to move it to get a little different angle, I can easily do that. So I'm thinking these would make perfect little wedding favors or bridal shower or birthday. Um, I got a fun project I'm going to show you after I, actually a couple things that I made I'm going to show you. I got a little 
after I'm done with this one to, to show you some of the ways you can make some cute packaging ideas with them. So there are all six of the flower pieces. And then I found with the leaves, it was a little bit easier to use the glue dots. Um, you know, I always talk, there's so many different adhesives out there, but I think they all have a different use. Glue dots I use quite often for little things like this. All I need to do is take my leaf and I have the top side of it down, pick up that glue dot, oh, that one. and then we'll take our flower and we will just stick that leaf there. So we'll do that with all four of these. And why don't we just put like two there. Um, I found the liquid got just a little bit messy when I was doing these flowers because there's not a whole lot of surface area there. So we'll do that one. So there, there's all of our leaves. And then we'll take the center. Now, if you want to, you can curl these up a little bit too. You gotta be pretty gentle. And we'll put just a dab of glue there. And we'll put the first one down. And then this one, I don't think that one curled too much. There's not a lot of surface space there. And then put the second one down. And then you want to add something in the center. So I use the gold, um, one of these gold faceted gems, I think they're called. Oops. We'll just pick that up. It already has the adhesive, like a glue dot under it. Pop it on there. And there is our flower. It is that simple. Now let's pull in this box. This is one of our pizza boxes. And I just cut a piece of that Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper to cover the top of it. And then I cut a piece, let's see, it is about one and a half inches wide. And again, I'll have all these measurements along with the pictures over on the blog. Wrapped it around, I just adhered it in the back. So this will slide off. So we can slide it off and put a little gift inside the box. Um, Here's another one I made. You know, we keep seeing these flowers in white, but they don't have to be white. Isn't that adorable? I made this one out of melon mambo and granny apple green. And I thought this would make the perfect like bridal shower little gift. Um, the polka dot boxes are in the catalog. And again, I'll link all of this stuff for you guys. You know, the my favorite ribbon here, the polka dot tool. And then I use one of the floral essence flower centers instead of the, the gold faceted dot on that. And I thought that just made an adorable box. So bridal shower would be a perfect idea. I just wish I had a bridal shower to plan. Hmm, my kids might kill me if they knew I just said that on camera. So let's just move on before I'm in trouble. Here, what I did is again, I made a belly band and I layered it with two pieces. Here you can see a little bit better. These are our acetate card boxes. I love these for packaging up gifts to give to people. There's nothing better than just giving a set of cards to someone as a gift. So again, this does slide off. Um, I added happy birthday on there. But these boxes, if you have not seen these, they are a super heavy acetate. So they are very strong. Um, I have put four cards in here. These cards were pretty layered. If, if your cards aren't very layered with ribbon and whatnot, I think you can fit six in there pretty good, along with envelopes. But the four cards I stuck in here are four of the projects that you're gonna get to make if you do my online class in August. So remember, the class is completely free. All you have to do is place a $50 order between August 1st and 10th using my special online class code. And I'll have all that posted on August 1st. And then you will get the tutorial for these six cards, along with tutorials for six other ones. So 12 tutorials all together. And I'll have a video that goes along with these six also kind of teaching you and giving you lots of tips for making them. So if you like these products, hold off to August 1st um, so that you can get the class for free. There we go, guys, 3D. Like I said, Jackie doesn't do 3D projects very often, but I had so much fun with these flowers. I think I might just be making more of them. So if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Leave me a comment, hop over to my blog, email me. I'm here to help you. I am a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I love to help you guys and teach you how to make quick and easy cards and projects. So until I stamp again, have a stamp happy day.